if you're new to the Denon system and you loaded up all your music and you see this dreaded red or red tracks or missing tracks, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Let's get into this. What's up, my fearless friends? Shay Sean Fan, I'm McPherson, back to you with another Gear and Gadgets. Today's show is for my DJ Denim Prime users, or my DJs out there that's using the great new software, the 2.1.2. Um, there's something very important when using the engine software that I want to show you, because when I first used the software, I took all my music from my Serato, and I plugged it into the engine software, but I didn't run it back out into my uh, Samsung T7 drive. And because of that, I was getting a lot of red tracks, kind of like when Serato's missing tracks. Uh, the same thing happens in the Denon engine software. And I wanted to show you guys and wanted to reiterate and bring to the table why it's so important that you use the new sync manager that's in the software. And I'm gonna show you an example right now. So when you open up the engine DJ software, you'll see that all my tracks are good in here. When I go all the way down, there's no red here. But if I go to my drives, you'll see that some, if I go to my drive here, you'll see that some music is in here. But as I go down, it gets very, very red. So, you know, when you're in the heat of DJing, you really want your stuff to be there. And if you're expecting a certain song or a certain way that you bring songs together, it can be an issue. So we don't want that issue. And the way we stop that issue is going to sync manager, which I didn't do. I just thought I could uh, have my music on my drive and plug it in to the Denon and it would be there. I didn't necessarily think I had to run everything through the software first. Um, and there's also a way from the actual hardware to send information back into the engine software like um, uh, the tabs that you make on the songs or change any changes you did with the hardware it'll save over into the software so if you hit something and you want to send it over you export it to the drive and we'll look for something like uh, one of my songs go figure If you look at Go Figure, there's no Go Figure that's not red. And I'm going to hit it. I, I did it on a different SD because it was a bigger SD and I didn't want to risk losing anything with this experiment with the sync manager. So when we go over to the actual Denon, you'll see that Go Figure is playing and it's there simply just because I ran it through Sync Manager and made sure my SD had enough space on it. So as you can see on the Denon Prime Go, I have the same track, Go Figure, loaded up. And it's not red here in the screen, which is a good sign. And we're gonna go over and the track actually plays. and we're getting sound. So yeah, make sure you use the sync manager and most of your tracks should be fine. So hopefully this little tutorial or just letting you guys know to make sure you use sync manager and not just bring your music or plug your drive into the Denon hardware without running it through the software on your computer to make sure you don't have any red or missing tracks. Hopefully that helps you guys. Let me know if there's any questions that you have down in the comments. My name is Shay Sean Fan. I'm McPherson. Thanks for coming by. 
Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm trying to grow this channel so I can bring you more gear, more gadgets, more fun. Peace.